up everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you can see by the title we're going to be trying out a bunch of designer fake items off of a website called i offer now you guys know i've done quite a few videos in the past on wish and ebay and just trying out a bunch of fake designer items and let's be real some of them are pretty much always a fail but there's a small percentage of items that i've tried before that were actually pretty decent so today's video i feel like is a public service to the community if you guys have ever wondered about I offer then this video is perfect for you because I will be trying these things out so you don't have to I feel like everyone at one point in their life goes through a stage where they're considering buying a fake designer item online and let me just say as a rule of thumb if it's too good to be true then do not buy it words of wisdom from Roxaurus 2018 but for real sometimes it's a hit sometimes it's a miss but that's exactly why we're here today to test out I offer so we're just gonna see what these items look like do they look like the real thing are they worth the money because if you're getting something that looks like designer but it's half the dollar dollar then I am in. But without further ado let's get on into the video. Okay so the first item we'll be testing out today is the Louis Vuitton Palm Spring mini backpack. I've always kind of wanted one because I think they're really cute but the only issue is it's like a thousand three hundred and sixty pounds so that's kind of excessive and expensive for a little backpack. So I decided to get a little fake which it looks like this. I haven't actually looked at it properly on the inside but this is what the dust bag looks like and I mean it looks pretty promising already to be honest I've never actually purchased a fake for one of these videos that came in a dust bag so that is pretty good so I'm just checking on the I offer website and this actually cost me 13 pounds 25 I mean 13 pounds 25 versus 1360 pounds is a big big difference so I don't really have high hopes considering this was so inexpensive but let's take a look inside and see how it looks Moment of truth. Ah! <laughs> okay, what have we got here? Okay, so it's very small. I'm not sure if the real one is as small as this. I'm pretty sure it's a tiny bit bigger from what I've seen. At first glance, you know, it doesn't look half bad. First things first, I see that it hasn't got the straps, so I'm hoping that they're inside. I don't know why, but it just kind of looks a little bit squashed. Maybe it's just the way it was in the post, but I'm pretty sure it's meant to look a little bit more like that. So I'm looking at the backpack in compared to the original which I've got down here on my laptop this is what the original looks like compared to this so first things first the shape they pretty much got correct um the pattern is yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same. There's obviously some differences in the monogram sort of design. Pretty sure that's obviously for copyright reasons, but like at a first glance, this looks exactly like the Louis Vuitton backpack. So the first thing that I noticed that's majorly different from the original is this top handle right here, which just looks really thin and like really cheaply made. The original backpack has kind of like a padded top handle, whereas this is just literally like one strap of faux leather. Okay, so moving on to the pocket, this honestly, looks so similar it's got this little black tab of like faux leather right here which actually says Louis Vuitton Paris it's like embossed into the leather which looks really really legit actually and looking at the zippers up close they've also got the Louis Vuitton embossed onto the zippers which is actually pretty impressive at how detailed it is because most fakes wouldn't really do that so I'm just gonna have a look inside the little pocket up here Hmm, it's kind of small. I don't know if that's how it is on the original, but I'm pretty sure you could fit some change into it or something. Now I'm gonna have a look on the inside of the main compartment because I wanna get out the straps. This zipper is a little bit more stiff. Thank God the straps are inside. So I'm pretty sure there's different versions of the straps. Um, I've seen some that are super thick and I've seen ones that are a little bit thinner like this, but I'm not really too familiar with Louis Vuitton backpacks, so I couldn't really tell you what style has what straps, but this replica comes with the very like thin straps, just like the top strap right here. And you know what, even on the straps, it's got the Louis Vuitton embossed onto the metal wear, which is so good. Okay, so the straps are now attached. They're a little bit wrinkled, but I'm hoping that with time and with a little bit of weight on the backpack, they will straighten out. But this is what they look like overall. I've got to say the backpack is a little bit spoiled with the straps. I feel like if they were a little bit thicker and a little bit better made. Okay, so overall this backpack, I'm probably going to rate 
rate a 6 out of 10 just because I feel like the straps kind of spoil it but overall it's such a good replica it honestly looks so similar to the original and I mean the fact that it's a replica let's put that aside let's just like look how cute this little backpack is like it's honestly adorable if I saw this at Primark without this pattern I honestly would buy it because it is so cute now the next item we're gonna try out is an article of clothing which is actually a denim jacket by Tommy Hilfiger jeans I actually happen to own this jacket as the original which I'm pretty sure cost me around 70 pounds which again is kind of pricey but the dupe that I found on I offer was 21 pounds which I mean is a huge saving and I'm not even sure if you can buy the original anymore because I feel like it was like a limited edition kind of thing but I managed to get my hands on a replica of it so this is what it looks like compared to the original and this honestly at a first glance looks exactly the same um I can confirm that the color is a little bit different on the original and even looking at the photo on I offer it looks nothing like this it looks so much lighter in denim so I'm pretty sure in the photo they are actually wearing the original coat which is the one that I own as well this one has the exact same like print on the back which just says Tommy Hilfiger jeans and it's got like the Tommy Hilfiger logo which is so cute it's also got the front pocket and to be honest it's not a bad made jacket like it's actually a pretty nice denim jacket the only thing I have to say though is that this is so much thinner than the original one the original Tommy Hilfiger jacket is so much thicker like it's actually a really thick good quality denim whereas this one is super thin and airy which I'm not saying is bad but at the same time it's not really like the original okay so this is what the jacket looks like on now I am so glad that this jacket it has pockets because honestly if a jacket doesn't have pockets it's kind of a deal breaker for me so I'm actually really glad that there's some pockets on this one now this is what it looks like from the back which I feel like it looks very similar to the original if I saw someone wearing this jacket in the street I honestly would not be able to tell that it's not an original jacket I'm actually really obsessed with this if I couldn't get my hands on the original I would totally get this one okay so the next item comes in this yellow envelope which I haven't even opened yet so I'm really excited to see what's inside okay I see what it is so this is the Tiffany and Co necklace so this was actually 290 on I offer which is so inexpensive and I know that Tiffany and Co is one of those luxury jewelry brands that is kind of pricey I've never actually owned anything from Tiffany and Co so I'm excited to see if this dupe is gonna look anything like the pictures so it actually comes in a little Tiffany and Co box which looks kind of legit like I'm pretty sure that's what the original box looks like Ooh. okay so we got a little note that says thank you for your purchase then inside we have the box and then we've got the necklace but it's kind of like in a weird clear pouch I mean if you're gonna bother with the box you might as well actually put the necklace inside the box now I have seen Tiffany and Co necklaces in person before I just don't own one so I'm pretty sure by looking at it that the little hearts are actually a lot bigger in the original necklaces you guys will not be able to see from this far so I'll do a little close-up but from what I can see it has got the two hearts and one of them does have the kind of like engraving that says Tiffany & Co New York literally looks so similar to like the real thing so I'm kind of sold by this so I wasn't actually aware how much this necklace cost in real life so I've just googled it and it actually is worth a hundred 20 pounds whereas this one right here cost me two pound 90 so that is a big saving now of course I'm not saying to get this fake one because even though the price is so much better it's obviously not going to be as good quality because this probably isn't sterling silver it's probably one of those materials that is gonna go green in like a week but if you just want it for like one time or maybe a couple of times and you just like it for the look then I would totally get this because this one was 290 whereas the the original is 120 pounds so I'm just gonna leave that right there <laughs> now for the next fake designer item I have this package right here which I'm pretty sure is the pair of shoes that I ordered so these are meant to be the dupes of the Balenciaga sock kind of boots I have no idea what they're called because they are not really my style but I know that they are super popular I've got to give it to them they have packaged this so well that I can't actually open it so these are the shoes <laughs> Okay, they kind of look promising. At a first glance, the fact that I don't know what the actual Balenciaga shoes exactly look like, they look pretty similar. Okay, I've got a photo in front of me right now, and do you know what? 
they still actually look pretty similar. So these are the originals and these are the figs from I offer. So I have to say, first things first, the sole of the shoe is pretty much identical. Like all of the grooves and the ridges, it's so on point. And the actual sock part of the material, it's got like the cinching at the ankle, which is exactly like the original. The one thing that kind of spoils it is the Balenciaga print. Like it actually looks really cheaply made and it's not in exactly the right position. But overall, these look so much like the originals and these only cost me 20 pounds versus 495 pounds on Harrods. Now, obviously these probably won't be as comfy as the originals, although they feel quite spongy. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to try these on. Oh my God, they even have the Balenciaga sign on the actual inside of the shoe. Look at that, it's actually got it written on the inside of the shoe as well. They went to town with the detail to be honest. What, it's even got it on the bottom. Like they really didn't need to write it on the bottom, but they did, so that's pretty detailed in my opinion. I've honestly got to say, I don't know if these are my cup of tea, but let me know what you guys think of these shoes down below. Would you wear these? And what do you think? Do you think they look like the original? Because to me, I kind of can't really tell the difference apart from the little like Balenciaga logo. So let's try these on and see if they're actually comfortable. So these are what the shoes look like on. I've honestly got to say I kind of dig them only because they're so comfy. I honestly did not expect these to be as comfortable as they are just because the actual white part of the sole is super hard to the touch. But once you actually have your foot in it, it's really like spongy and comfortable. I'm not gonna lie, these shoes kind of make me think of like uh, water shoes for water sports like surfing and things. So they weren't really my cup of tea to begin with, but now that I'm kind of wearing them and seeing as how comfortable they are, they're kind of growing on me. So the next item that I purchased is actually a ring. So this is the Cartier Love Ring. Obviously it's the fake. So let's just take a look at the original ring, which is right here. This costs 1,420 pounds, just for context, you know? Now the fake one I've got right here, which which is in a little bag and this one cost four pound fifty so okay i've got it on <laughs> it looks very similar to the original it's not a perfect fit um it's a little bit too big on me but for four pound fifty this is actually really nice now i've got to say looking up close on the actual like grooves of the little I don't even know what they're meant to be. I guess they're meant to be like little stud uh, screw things. Um, these are a little less like detailed. Um, the original ring, they're a little bit more embossed and also a little bit more inset into the ring. So they're a lot deeper. Whereas these ones here on the fake ring are a lot more shallow. I hope I'm making sense, but yeah, that's literally the only difference that I see between these two rings. I actually really like this. It's a really good dupe. It was only £4.50. It's probably gonna go green in like a week, but £4.50 is not bad. What I like to do with rings like this when they're not real gold or real silver, I like to actually coat them with a clear layer of nail varnish and it kind of seals it in and it stops it from going green. So if you purchase one of those, that's potentially what you could do. But you know what? I'm actually gonna give this one a big thumbs up. I feel like it's a really good replica. So the next item I have is a belt. Now I'm sure you guys can guess what dupe this is meant to be. It's a dupe of the Gucci belt. So the original of this costs 270 pounds so this is pretty impressive like the actual Gucci clasp is the right size it's the right shape everything is spot on however the actual gold material that it's made out of is a little bit like brushed um, it almost seems like a layer of the gold has kind of like scrubbed off maybe this happened in shipping or maybe it's just a faulty one but it looks so real. So this belt cost me £4.90, whereas the original is £270. So I mean, it's a pretty good saving if I say so myself. Now the only thing I can kind of see right off the bat is that the actual shape of the belt is a little bit different. The original has a slightly different taper to the end. And also this one here has kind of like a white stitch all throughout the belt, whereas I'm looking on the website on Gucci and it doesn't really have that stitching effect. But at a first glance, I mean, that looks very, very similar to the original. So I think I'm gonna give this like 
an 8 out of 10 because it's actually a pretty good replica. Now the last two items of the video are something that isn't really meant to be a replica of the brand because I'm not actually 100% sure if these items exist in real life. By that I mean I don't know if they exist from the brand as an original product. Um, so basically it's a dress from Louis Vuitton which has the Louis Vuitton monogram sort of logo all over it. Funny thing about this is that it's actually got a Fendi tag which I'm really confused about because they actually went all out to try and make it look like an original Fendi product. But it's got Louis Vuitton logos all over it, so I don't really know where they were going with that. So yeah, that's kind of weird, but this is the dress. It's basically just like a small uh, bodycon sort of dress. It's kind of short, so it's more like a mini dress. It looked really cute on the model. I have no idea how it's going to look on me, though. So let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like on. I'm actually quite a fan of it. I I feel like it fits really nicely, it's really stretchy, and it's not too see-through, which is the main thing. I was a little bit worried that it might be kind of see-through, but honestly, I actually kind of like it, although the color is a little bit off. I feel like Louis Vuitton clothing is never like this sort of color. It should be a tad bit darker of a brown, but overall, the pattern on it is really nice, and the fabric is like really silky soft too. So I am kind of impressed with this. I would actually wear this out, so I'm gonna give this a big thumbs up. And the last item, is the same sort of print but this is actually kind of like a bikini set or maybe like a two-piece so it comes with a little Louis Vuitton bardo sort of top um it's kind of wide so I have no idea if this is actually gonna sit on me properly and then it just comes with some bikini bottoms like this now I've got to say these look a little bit bigger than a size 8 um I don't know if they will fit me these actually come in a size L so that's definitely not what I ordered so I really hope that this is gonna fit me and then the last thing it comes with is a little bandana sort of thing that's kind of how the model is wearing it she's just wearing it like across her head like that so I don't know if this is gonna fit but let's try it on and see how it looks so this is the bikini set and what it looks like on now I've got to say I knew that this wouldn't fit from the get-go. I mean, look at the sleeves. They're kind of like falling down because it's just so wide. And even though it's quite elastic, it's just a little bit too loose for me. So that is really annoying, but I'm actually kind of surprised because the bottoms do fit. I mean, they're a tiny bit loose around the back. But apart from that, they actually fit pretty well. And I've just used the little bandana as a choker instead of a bandana because I feel like it looks a bit better. I've got to say, I would have given this a massive thumbs up if this actually fit but I can't lie I am a little bit disappointed with the fact that the top half just is way too big for me even though I ordered a size s I still got a size large so that's kind of annoying so I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down so those are all of the items I'm testing out for you guys from I offer today I honestly had so much fun doing this video because I love to try new things especially new websites if you guys have any other suggestions for any different websites such as I offer or wish that you would like me to try out next then let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know which one of these items was your favorite and you feel like looks most like the original and also, would you purchase it? I don't think I'm actually gonna wear any of this stuff. Um, I will probably just donate it to charity, but I actually feel like most of the stuff was okay. Like, I wouldn't say it was really bad. I think my favorite was definitely the backpack just because I feel like it looks so much like the original. And I did also quite like the ring and also the Tiffany & Co necklace because, again, I feel like you couldn't really tell that they're fakes. Like I said, I've done quite a lot of these videos in the past. I've done so many different designer videos from eBay. And I feel like I've also done some from Wish. So I will link them down below if you guys haven't checked them out already as well as in the little eye in the corner. But that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.